In this video exercise, we'll use the System Builder panel to build a model system for the membrane protein 2QDZ in a 0.15 molar sodium chloride solution embedded in a membrane for use in subsequent molecular dynamic simulations using Desmond. The first step is to download and prepare the protein, so let's launch the Protein Preparation Wizard panel, then type 2QDZ and click Import. For this protein, we'll use the default settings for pre-processing, except we'll use fill missing side chains using Prime, cap the N and C termini, and keep any existing crystal waters, though I don't believe there are any in this example. Then click Pre-process. We won't worry about any overlapping atoms at this point, as they should get fixed later in refinement. For example, this clash looks like the glutamine needs to be flipped, and that should be corrected later during H-bond optimization. Under Review and Modify, we'll click the Analyze Workspace button. And in this case, there are no hetero groups to generate states for, so we'll just continue on to the Refine tab. Here, we'll click Optimize in the H-Bond Assignment section. Optimizing the hydrogen bonding is important because X-ray structures do not usually have enough resolution to fix the orientation of terminal amides or histidines, or the orientation of hydroxyls and thiols. Once that's done, we'll click Minimize. Here, a restrain minimization is performed, which removes the atom clashes and relaxes the side chains and other modifications made to the protein. Now we have a prepared protein ready for the system builder. But first, let's also show the ribbons to get a better representation of the secondary structure. And let's also delete the labels. Now let's go to Applications, Desmond, System Builder, or if you're using the Task View mode, just go to Tasks, Molecular Dynamics, System Setup, or search for the System Builder in the Task Tree. Once open, we'll set up the membrane first, so click Set Up Membrane. Now in this example, we'll choose the DPPC phospholipid from one of the predefined membranes. Note the various temperatures at which the membrane patches were pre-equilibrated at. Next, we'll attempt to place the membrane automatically. You'll notice that the membrane wasn't placed correctly. This is because the default placement takes into account the alpha helices rather than the beta barrel. So, we'll need to select the residues in the membrane manually. We'll just click Select, then in the Residue tab, we'll specify the residue numbers as 209 to 554, then click Add. Then we'll choose Secondary Structure and select Strand, then Intersect. Now this expression indicates that the atoms to be selected are those that are between residues 209 to 554 and have a strand secondary structure. Click OK, then now we'll click Place Automatically again. Now the membrane is placed again, this time in the correct position around the beta barrel. Now if some finer adjustments are needed, you could select the Adjust Membrane Position and then use the middle mouse button to rotate and improve the membrane alignment. But that's not necessary in this example. Now here, we can choose from a selection of solvent models, but we'll just keep it on the default SPC. The boundary box defaults to orthorhombic, and we can show the boundary box. We won't use any custom charges, but we do need to set up the ions, so let's go to the ions tab. Now if we wanted to exclude a region, for example near a ligand binding site, from the placement of ions and salts, we can do that here, but that's not needed in this example. For the ion placement, we'll click Recalculate to set the number of ions needed to neutralize the system. Here it's saying it will add 17 chloride ions. This makes sense because the setter star down below indicates that the protein has a positive charge of 17. Now we'll click Add Salt and ensure that the salt concentration is set to 0.15 molar to simulate the background salt at physiological conditions. By default, sodium chloride is added, but you can choose a variety of positive and negative ions for the salt. We'll use the default force field as OPLS 2005 and then get ready to submit the job. Now before we click run, we'll open the job settings and then choose a non-Windows host. I'm in Windows here, so I'll submit this job to a remote Linux cluster. Now just click save and run. System building should only take a few minutes to complete. Once the job finishes, the system is incorporated into the workspace. Here you can see the protein, membrane, solvent and ions. The system is now ready for simulation using Desmond. 